Hello, Virgo. It's time for your October 2020 love reading. What's going on, everyone? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. Hope you guys are doing well. Please like, share, subscribe. If this one resonates, the link to the extended reading is below. Hope you guys are all doing well. Find your Virgo twin. Leave in the comment your birthday. I think that's kind of cheeky and fun. Sometimes I say bad words. Sometimes I vape. If any of those things bother you, just a hard left, but I hope you stay. All right, keep in mind it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your moon or your rising sign. If you need help with those, you can go to cafeastrology.com and find out your birth chart. All right, Virgo, let's see what's coming in. We're going to do a 10-card Celtic spread. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October, concentrating on love. What does Virgo need to know about the love life? October. All right, let's do it. Let's see what's up. How you doing? All right, coming into the current moment, what's the energy? What's the energy? Ooh, we've got the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. What's the influence or the challenge to that Queen of Cups? The Ten of Pentacles. What's on your mind, Virgo? What's going through your thoughts? Well, it's you. It's the Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. So if you're new to tarot, there's 21 Major Arcana in the deck. That happens to be your energy, and it's in the upright. So you are in your element. What happened in the recent past? The Seven of Wands happened. What's, why is it all going down? What's the reason for the reading? Oh, not today, Satan, not today. The devil is in reverse. Major Arcana for Capricorn. All right, releasing, no longer feeling stuck or trapped. Maybe not feeling that strong bond that you once did. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Knight of Cups, more water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could definitely be dealing with somebody where there's an age difference. All right. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? Oh, some clarity with the Ace of Swords. You might be cutting through the BS with that Ace of Swords. Wanting communication, truthful communication, but this is the ultimate victory and it's seeing things clearly. You guys have really been looking into something, it looks like, with the Hermit on your mind. The Hermit isn't just, I'm going to ghost you or withdrawal. The Hermit is very wise, very, very slow energy, but it's because the Hermit's trying to figure some shit out. He's got that lantern there, he's researching, he's investigating, all right? In your environment coming in that you don't see is the Page of Swords, that little, little spy. I'm just kidding. Sometimes the Page of Swords, again, very investigative energy. There's something you guys want to find out or research. Could be somebody's kind of doing this to you and watching you as well. In your emotions, you've got the Three of Cups. You're feeling the Three of Cups. What's the outcome in love, Virgo? Well, there's your energy again, the Knight of Pentacles. Typically Virgo, sometimes Taurus energy. Very slow, very cautious, very careful. I feel like for the majority of you, you're letting old ties go. No longer feeling trapped or stuck to a person or a specific situation. And now in pulling away and also kind of figuring stuff out about yourself. And then you have the, like your new love or dating or something's coming in here. For some of you, it could be an apology from someone you already dealt with. I'm getting more new energy, but we'll see. Some of you want a reconciliation, but I just feel like with that Three of Cups, this is going out with friends, it's dating, it's meeting new people. Because remember, the reason for the reading is the devil in reverse. You're releasing something. You don't. You no longer feel that strong tie to something or someone. What's at the bottom of the deck? Let's see what the overall energy is coming into the reading. The Eight of Pentacles. Putting some effort releasing a person or a situation that's no longer, you know, that hasn't been putting the effort or work that you want. I think, again, I get the sense that you guys have done a lot of work on yourselves as well with that eight of pentacles. All right. This is the day in, day out grind in a relationship. And now I have to vape. Pink lemonade, if anyone cares. All right, so let's clarify and see what's coming in here. This is October for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's up, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I think with that Queen of Cups, you guys might be a little bit emotional this month, but it's steady and even, right? The Queen of Cups is using her intuition to decide if she's going to offer that cup. The cup is closed in the Rider-Waite deck. 
you know, it's she's got to feel completely confident with her emotions. And she's using that intuition. She's got it to offer. But there's more to uncover. There's more to decide here, you know, with this Ten of Pentacles, long-term commitment and marriage and all that kind of stuff. On a side note, money looks really good for you guys this month as well. So if you're working hard towards something, buying property, moving, a raise, something like that, promotion, all of that looks good. Okay, so I'm just reading what I see. It's a love reading, but if I see money, I'm going to talk money as well. So some of you are working hard and researching to, you know, climb the corporate ladder or to make some money, a business, something like that. And it looks positive. All right, Virgo, what do you need to know? One more shuffle. See, I've got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, too. Makes sense. You guys are Earth sign with all these Pentacles. But that Ace of Pentacles is a gift, you know, from the universe. It's something new that has a lot of potential tied to it. New job, new home, something like that. New relationship. All right, let's check it. Why is the Eight of Pentacles the overall energy for Virgo? <laughs> Came up. There it is. Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> A lot of you guys are putting work and effort into a new beginning that, you know, includes a move or a promotion, a new job, something like that. And on the love front, I think that <clears throat> a lot of you are putting work and effort into yourself because the next relationship you want, it can't just be about passion and emotion. It has to be something that you plant that seed and it grows into long-term stability. Now, coming into the current moment, we've got a Queen of Cups, Virgo. What is this about? Ooh, the Three of Swords. Yeah, a little bit hurt. The Queen of the Queen of Cups can be quite emotional, even in the upright. She she still has some healing to do. You know, she's sweet and nurturing, and she, the Queen of Cups is who you go to when you have an issue, and she'll make you cookies and pour you some tea. But she's highly, highly um, intuitive and psychic, okay? So there's been some disappointment here and some a break here, severance. What's this, Three of Swords? Yeah, but you're moving on from that. The Water Uber is here, Six of Swords. Getting to a calmer space in your head, moving forward, leaving that Three of Swords behind, but still maybe a little bit emotional about it, okay? The influence is this Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, it's a marriage. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? What is this? The King of Wands? Does it involve a fire sign, Virgo? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries? Possibly. Possibly. Um, and the King of Wands does represent a lot of passion. For some of you, small percentage probably, you were involved with this King of Wands. Whether he's a fire sign or not, he could have been married to this Queen of Cups. All right? Even if it's not a fire sign, again, the King of Wands represents the boom boom a very very strong attraction a sexual relationship that kind of thing and you've moved on from it okay because maybe you found out this person was in a commitment or married just a side note now in the recent past you've got the seven of wands what's this about virgo the knight of pentacles again there you are virgo fighting again on the money career side a lot of you guys are fighting hard for some sort of uh, climb you know, up the corporate ladder, money or business, something like that. It looks really good because that seven of wands is, you know, it's not just, oh, I'm defensive and guarded. It's also like I'm standing my ground. I'm walking my own path. You don't like it too bad. A lot of work and effort put into being very um, calculated, careful and responsible when it comes to love and work. On your mind is the hermit Virgo. That's you. Why is the hermit here? And the three of wands, yeah. I think a lot of you guys pulled away from someone. They could have done this to you, but I'm reading for you, so that's how we're reading it. But on your mind is the hermit, is, you know, again, ghosting, pulling away. But it's also just to reflect and to do more research. Could have been that third energy involved for some of you. But if that's the case, you're just pulling away. Because the three of wands is, now it's time to wait, right? It's time to, I'm going within... Pulling away, going within, discovering what I really, really want, and I'm ready to take action. I'm ready for it to manifest, um, and I'm going to be very, very careful and very cautious to do it. A lot of, a lot of self healing and work on yourself. I think some of you had no choice but to move away from someone, probably. And remember, it's all going down because of the devil in reverse. 
Devil in reverse says, nope, I don't want anything toxic in my life, my love life. You know, no third parties, no feeling stuck, no, you know, temptations, that kind of thing. It's just release, basically. Why is the devil in reverse? Because of the seven of pentacles. There's your energy earth. Remember I said earlier, um, you guys are doing a lot of like work on yourself, reflecting. That's what that seven of pentacles is for me. That seven of pentacles says, I'm taking a look at the past, the present. What do I want in the future? You know, I, maybe I've been disappointed in certain people and situations. So now it's, again, it's, it's a kind of a waiting game. I, I basically think you guys, and it's either a particular person or just in general, in love, something did not go your way. And it's really caused you to reflect on how to manifest and move forward. And it's by releasing this devil reverse. Some of it, it was a Capricorn, but others, it just represents toxicities. Now, coming into the near future, you'll experience the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? And the star, beautiful. Aquarian energy. These knights are in pursuit of something. The Knight of Cups with that cup, it's the emotion. It's the love offer. It's kind of sweeping you off your feet, right? I feel, Virgo, you guys do have a love offer coming in. Could be somebody a little bit younger, Somebody that's very kind of charismatic, but also, again, sweeps you up the feet. It's like that knight in shining armor. And with the star Aquarian energy, I think this person is kind of is kind of swooned by you, is kind of taken aback by you. The star, while it is hope and faith and wish fulfillment, all that shit, it's also somebody sees you in that light as a shining star. What's the star? And the cherry in reverse, sign of cancer. Water Uber has come to a halt. <laughs> Not moving forward. There's somebody that's coming in with an offer here, and you don't want to progress. You feel, you'll feel that it just has no victory tied to it. There's no more movement. It's just your halt, you're putting it to a halt. For some of you, it's this person that you released. Who's this Knight of Cups for? Ver if you're if you were dealing with the water sign, especially for others of you, this is just a new offer. But it's like you've you've done so much work. You're putting yourself in such a great position, um, spiritually, loving yourself, knowing your potential, that you're just not going to settle. Who's this Knight of Cups coming in? The Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody that you don't you feel like you don't even want to fight for. You can't stand your ground with this person, so you just kind of lay it down. It's like, nope. It, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Somebody, it's a past person. Somebody, it's somebody, you know, somebody, it's new. Those of you who aren't dealing with anybody, this is a new person, but there's something about it that you're just like, nope, it's, it can't move forward. And I think you're going to really look at it. Again, you've been evaluating your love life and this offer in love in the month of October, you're really going to be looking into this, but you ultimately decide there's a movement. Right now, you're the Ace of Swords. Why is Virgo the Ace of Swords? Because of the world. Closure, learning lessons. This is a huge, you know, this Ace of Swords is that energy of, aha, I see this clearly. I've had this breakthrough. I've had this revelation. I know what it takes to be successful in my love life. I'm still working on myself. And the world is learning those lessons. You're reaching a goal, a milestone, and ready now to close the door and move forward. All right? I don't, I don't, I'm not getting the sense that most of you want a past person back. It just doesn't feel like this to me. Now, in your environment, what you don't see coming is the Page of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's this Page of Swords for Virgo? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Sharp little message. Sometimes, you know, the Page of Swords is a student of the deck. He's delivering to him. It's a little bit biting. You know, he's done his research online, maybe looking, looking you up, asking people about you, whatever. But with the Eight of Swords in reverse, again, this is release. This reading is all about, well, I don't really feel that strong bond to you anymore. You know, you still have that energy of curiosity. The Knight of Swords isn't the best in love, right? I'm, I'm sorry, the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is more just like, hmm, wonder what Virgo's up to. And you're just like, I don't have time for it. I'm good, thanks. In your emotions, you've got the Three of Cups. But I do, again, I do feel like you guys have a love offer that you're going to turn down. You just don't see potential with it, it looks like. Um, why is Virgo feeling the Three of Cups? Why is Virgo feeling the Three of Cups? 
because of the Ace of Cups in reverse. Just wanting to get out there and have fun, get together with friends, family, date. Your energy is pretty nice. It's very much about, you're not living it, you know, you're not stuck under the covers. This is about living your life and knowing your potential. Um, either, again, remember I said earlier, some of you found out somebody was married. There was that third energy, right? And there was, you pulled away. You no longer offering your cup to that person. It could have been unrequited because of a third person. But that imbalance with that cup of breakup and, and no longer, you know, offering that due to that third party. Others of you, this is, again, just wanting to go out and have a good time, start dating again, that kind of thing. But again, I'm getting this energy of, I've still got some healing to do. Some, you know, I'm loving myself. I've still got work. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, see the Eight of Wands, release, manifestation, dating. The Eight of Wands, Eight is all about change. In your emotions, again, this is getting out there, enjoying yourself. Those of you that... You know, this could have been kind of a hard breakup in the past. I think you've evolved. And if it was very, very difficult in the recent past, it's gotten much better. And so this is now you wanting to kind of go out with friends and date and, and that kind of thing. You're getting your joy back, it looks like to me. After seeing yourself as living in this kind of aha moment, having this clarity on what you want and what you don't want, time to close the chapter. And the Eight of Wands is that progress and that change. And it definitely can be manifestation, taking action, getting out there, starting to, you know, maybe even look at online dating or, you know, just a lot of those messages going back and forth to somebody here. But I just, I feel like a lot of you think that, or you will that this love offer is just, it, there's an imbalance. It's unrequited for some reason. There's something about this person or this offer that you're not going to stick around for. You're open to dating for the most part, but not with this offer. The outcome has you guys, the Knight of Pentacles. So there's Virgo energy, just being very, very cautious. The thing about the Knight of Pentacles Remember, the pentacles represent the potential, that value tied to it. And, you know, before receiving, before offering, the Knight of Pentacles is just going to stick around, hang out, wait, and move very, very slowly. But he does reach his goal ultimately. What's this Knight of Pentacles <laughs> and the Knight of Cups? Yeah, for love. A lot of you have more than one offer. A lot of you have a water sign and potentially a, another earth sign. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You have somebody here that you don't see potential with, but and it's because, again, you're valuing yourself, but also this person, I don't really see them giving up easily. I think they're going to just kind of hang around. I, I just feel that <laughs> somebody is smitten by you. What's this Knight of Cups about? What's this Knight of Cups? The devil in reverse. <laughs> And again, Capricorn energy. Again, um, some of you, this person that you, for those of you that were dealing with something quite toxic and you've moved away, this person will message you and try to kind of swoon you with an apology. Um, but your energy is so kind of strong and protective and careful and cautious. You'll still just end up rejecting this. Devil in reverse, Capricorn. Remember, that's why it's all happening. After reflecting and, and that kind of thing, you're just, you're not having it. You no longer are feeling the temptation of whatever this was. I also feel that um, some kind of newer, smaller, you know, love partner offer potential or whatever that you guys just don't see moving forward. This person will keep trying. And it's that energy of, nope. Are you sure? Nope. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> it's like... So the newer love offer, I would not expect to just kind of give up easily. Tell me more about the devil in reverse. Yeah, see the two of pentacles. This devil person that you've released was probably juggling many people. What's this two of pentacles about? And the death card. Yeah, you just, you're, it's final. It's death, sign of Scorpio. Big, big change. You guys have gone through some huge, huge transformations and changes, and it continues throughout October. Um, in your love life, putting an end to anyone that's kind of juggling you or indecisive. Mm -mm. So the queen of wands here, you know, she says, look, <laughs> I'm taking action. I got my mojo back. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling secure. 
And she, and in this particular deck, she's got that wand up. Whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. It's just energy. But she's got that wand up. And it's kind of protecting herself. Because she already knows. Like, she really has no competitors. Right? Very strong. Very powerful reading for you guys this month. Um, I'm going to take a look at how your person feels about you. And kind of see what's going through their head. What are they really up to in their everyday life? Versus maybe what they're telling you or what they will be telling you. We're going to see... Um, if it's the new person or maybe somebody that you guys have been dealing with, I can't really control who comes out. It just comes out. So we'll clarify and, and, and dive deeper into that. But for the most part, Virgo, October looks like a month of um, being very cautious, being very careful, leaving shit in the past, opening yourselves up to possibilities of new loves, new relationships and that kind of thing. But it's like right away, if you're not feeling it, you're cutting it out. And you have people that are still going to pursue and still be persistent. All right. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.